Hi guys, welcome to AW Tech Tips. My name is Chrissy Spurlock and today we're going to talk about custom canvas mode on an Ascender 48 4K PL. Before we get started, I'd like to talk to you about what custom canvas mode is. When using the standard grid mode, LiveCore allows you to arrange the output in a grid. 2x1, 2x2, 4x1, so on and so forth. Grid mode assumes that the outputs are stacked in columns or rows. The resolutions of each output are added together to create the screen. Custom canvas mode allows you to accomplish a few advanced features used for display arrays with mullions, or bezel compensation, and artistic installations where the displays are arranged without the column or row constraint. Custom canvas mode will enable you to create a video canvas of the user's choice and is not based on output resolutions. Video outputs can be placed anywhere on the video canvas. Bezel compensation is achieved via the custom canvas mode. Let's dive in to the WebRCS to set up our custom canvas mode. Let's show an example of using custom canvas to set up a display array with bezels. A display array with bezels has a unique issue of physical separation between quadrants that does not have any active pixels. If these pixels are not compensated for, video operations will be obvious in the form of a gap, tear, between quadrants. A diagonal line will look unnatural as it passes through a quadrant. A person's face will look noticeably wide and unnatural. Video will also lose cohesion between quadrants even though the signal is perfectly synchronized. To correct the issue caused by the display's bezels, we will need to virtually process that dead space as pixels. Here is a simple example. We have a 2x1 video wall using 32 inch diagonal 1080p displays. First, let's measure the width of the active display, 1920 pixels. Pixel to pixel is 27.625 inches. 1920 pixels divided by 27.625 inches equals pixels divided by inch, 69.5 pixels per inch. Let's go ahead and round it to 70 pixels. Now we find the physical width of the bezel by measuring the gap or bezel of both the left and the right displays combined. This total bezel is one inch. We know how many pixels per inch the display is from our previous measurement. We now know that the bezels account for 70 pixels and we can determine the total video canvas we need to process by adding the numbers together. 1920 plus 70 plus 1920 equals 3910 by 1080. In our WebRCS, click on Setup tab, Preconfig tab, Screens tab. Here is where we can configure the custom canvas to be 3910 by 1080. Output 1 will start on the left at pixel 00, and we'll drag output 2 all the way to the right. The gap or tear in the middle between the outputs is the virtual space now being processed for the bezels. Notice how diagonal lines now look normal and you don't notice the bezels as much caused by the gap. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. I'll see you next time here on AW Tech Tips.